Hi, I'm Pastor Brian, and I'm here with... Hudson. Hi, I'm Hudson Broderson. Hudson Broderson. This is my grandson, and we're going to read a Ronnie book Wilson. called... Ronnie Wilson's Gift. Who's it written by? Um, Frances Chan. Frances Chan. That is amazing. She, she's made a lot of other books that I'm really interested in. I've been reading them a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. So, we hope you enjoy. Yep. Here we go. To my dear friend, Ron Wilson, a very wise old man who still has the faith of a child. Oh, wow. That's great. Okay. Little Ronnie Wilson's jaw dropped in amazement. It was the first time he heard the real reason Jesus came to earth such a long time ago. He did, he did that for us? That's amazing. Then an exciting idea popped into Ronnie Wilson, into Ronnie's mind. Jesus gave me an awesome gift, so I want to give him a present too. When Ronnie got home, he tried to think of the perfect present for Jesus. His teddy bear was old and falling apart. So that wasn't the perfect gift. Let's see. Then he, the page is stuck together as often happens in these moments. His piggy bank only had $6.47. Oh, that wasn't going to be good enough. Then Ronnie saw his baseball glove on his bookshelf. It was signed by his Uncle Jack, a player in the big leagues. Ronnie loved his glove more than anything else he owned. These pages are sometimes hard to get. Ah, there we go. He thought to himself, Jesus gave me the greatest gift of all. So I want to give him the greatest gift I can. So Ronnie grabbed his glove and raced on his bike to the post office. Yeah. Another stuck together page. Oh, yeah, but we got it. How much will it cost to mail this to heaven? I only have $6.47, Ronnie explained. The mailman answered, I'm sorry, Ronnie, but we can't deliver mail to heaven. We have no way to get there. Okay, thanks anyway, Ronnie said as he walked out the door. Oh, that was pretty straightforward. They couldn't do it. Ronnie rode home on his bike, thinking of different ways to get his baseball glove to Jesus, when he nearly ran right into a man shuffling down the sidewalk. Sorry, sir. That's okay, son. The man, the man smiled just a bit. And Ronnie heard his tummy grumble. Um, have you had lunch yet? Ronnie asked the man. The man shook his head and Ronnie thought maybe he didn't have enough money to buy lunch. So Ronnie shook his payee bank until some coins fell out. Ronnie gave the money to the man who used it to buy a hot dog with, with the works. A hot dog with the works. Wow. Cool. Later, Ronnie went out to his backyard and jumped on his trampoline. He jumped as high as he could. In fact, he, he jumped so high his next-door neighbor, Jesse, saw him. What are you doing, Jesse asked. I'm trying to jump to heaven so I can give my baseball glove to Jesus. Do you want to jump with me? Ronnie asked. Jesse said, yes. Jesse and Ronnie didn't jump high enough to make it to heaven, but they did have a good time trying. <laughs> I bet. I bet they did. Oh, I hope people understand that turning the pages is really the hardest part of this job. At the carnival next day, Ronnie bought a giant balloon with the rest of his money. Then he tied a baseball, his baseball glove 
to the bowling and wrote a note to Jesus. Wow, he's creative. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you enjoy my baseball glove. Just as, as he was about to let his balloon fly up to heaven, he heard a little girl crying, Mommy, my balloon! Ronnie didn't know the little girl. Ronnie didn't like that the little girl was sad, so he gave him his balloon. But now he had to, he had no way to get his gift to Jesus. Ronnie prayed, Jesus, I'm so sorry I couldn't get it, your present to you. I tried my hardest. Thank you anyway. That night, Ronnie had the strangest dream. He was in heaven, and Jesus said to him, Thanks for the present, Ronnie. What present? Thanks for the balloon when I was sad. Thanks for jumping on the trampoline when I was lonely. And thanks for the hot dog when I was hungry. What do you mean, Ronnie asked. Jesus answered, Don't you remember what I wrote in the Bible? Whatever you do for these brothers of mine, you do for me. Billy is the man you saw at the post office. He lost everything in a fire except his faith. He had just prayed for food. And I used you to answer his prayer. Your neighbor, Jesse, loves me, but he's lonely. I used you to be a friend to him. And the little girl who lost her balloon, her name is Rachel. Her dad works hard, but, but doesn't have a lot of money. So I loved it when you gave her your balloon. They're all my children, and when I... When you give a gift to my children it, in need, it's the same thing as giving it to me. So thanks, Ronnie. Wow, that's pretty cool. Then Ronnie just woke up. It was the happiest dream he ever had. And he wrote, and he wore a huge smile grandpa. Across his face. Now he knew exactly what he was going to do. Later that day, Ronnie went to play at the park with his friend Keith. Keith, Keith had always wanted to play on the baseball all team, but he didn't have a glove. So that afternoon, Ronnie gave him a surprise present. Keith had, had been so excited. Keith had never been so excited. Yeah. As Ronnie knelt by his bed that night, he looked up to heaven and whispered, Jesus, I hope you enjoyed the baseball glove, and the king will and the king will answer to them. Truly I say to you, as you did to one of the least of these these my brothers, you did to me. Matthew twenty five I have forty. Wow, great. Good job, Hudson. Sorry, my page turning wasn't quite as good as it should have been. It's well, fine. I hope you had a good time listening to the book. See you next time.